<laughs> hey, this reaction is hilarious. This is real. That's the reaction you get. I've been wanting to make a reaction video for these tech videos on TikTok where they glamorize tech. Some of these videos are really good and are really helpful and I love the tech community on TikTok, but some of these videos can be really deceiving and unrealistic, braggadocious. I figured I'd make a video reacting to some of my favorite tech videos, some of my not so favorite tech videos, and then just the videos in between. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and lifestyle content like this. Also comment down below your thoughts on the tech TikTok glamorizing type of videos. I'm curious to know you all's feelings. And also I love engaging with you on a comment section anyways. All right, this is actually one of my favorite videos. You walk into my first tech job wearing business attire. This is true. 26 year old manager wearing another company shirt. That's true. CEO in a Snuggie. Okay. so. This is really true. I was definitely that in wait, I wasn't the intern wearing a tank top. I wasn't doing that. I definitely was wearing like a t-shirt and shorts. That was when I was working at a tech company. It's so different now working for a bank. Um, I, I say this joke that every job I've gotten has gotten increasingly conservative in terms of what I could wear to work. But my first job was definitely like um, Helen Alima. I think that's her name on TikTok's video. The most accurate one, though, is the manager with the company shirt. There's so many like 40 year old dudes in tech wearing T-shirts and shorts every day. POV, eighth round, <laughs> eight rounds, software engineer interview, salary seven hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars. What? See, here's my issue with glamorizing tech to, to this point, to this magnitude. I have no problem with glamorizing tech because we need to get more people in the space, especially more people of color. So I appreciate her posting these, this tech content. These numbers are becoming more and more unrealistic. They used to be realistic, like 100K, 150K, 200K. And I'm not saying people aren't making more than 200K, but like $730,000, like why? I just feel like these videos do more harm than good. One, how is this salary broken up? because I watched a video that we're going to be watching soon, so stay tuned, where someone commented, how is this broken up? And then they started talking about all their side hustles. And it's like, so now you're just bragging about how much money you're making, not the salary you're getting for your job. I just feel like these videos do more harm than good because there's so many people who are just passionate about tech or just want a life-changing job. And they get really frustrated because they see these type of videos where people are having these outlandish salaries. I bet most of them are unrealistic and not even true. And it just makes them more frustrated and causes more harm than good. Oh All right, this next video is so dope. Nice. How does it feel? Code. It's literally the best feeling. That feeling right there will never go away. That's true. That is true. That is one of the best feelings in the world is when you've been debugging this bug or working on this feature and everything starts to come together and you see it working. Honestly, that's what keeps me coming back to programming. What is going on here? It's not working anymore. Yeah, that feeling right there will also never go away. Yeah, that's that's true. That's the beauty of programming. You're always problem solving. Being, being frustrated <laughs> is never going to end. That's the whole point of being a programmer is constantly putting out fires. All right, this one is from my homie Jeremiah Peoples. Um, all right, what my friends think I do at work. I already know where he's going with this one. Yep, they think you're hacking and that you're like in the movies, like typing at 150 words per minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One hand, yeah. Oh, wow. Too easy. Way too easy. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> hey, this reaction is hilarious. That's the type of reaction you get when you're copying and pasting, or maybe not copying and pasting, but you're referencing like Stack Overflow or a tutorial. You put it in your code, you run it, and it breaks. And then reading Stack Overflow and not even knowing what they're talking about. Oh my gosh. Or just copy and paste it all together and hope that it works. And paste. 
go. That feeling too, when you copy and paste Stack Overflow into your code, it works. That's such a great feeling. Day in the life of a 21 year old software engineer. See, this is the type of stuff I be talking about. 40K a month. That's roughly, I think like $430,000 to $450,000 a year at 21 years old. You know what I was making at 21 years old? Whatever the minimum wage is for work study students. Let's, let's finish the video. Free breakfast and lunch every day. So not only does he make like half a ticket, half a million, but he also gets free breakfast and lunch every day. But see, that's cool. I like showing the free breakfast and lunch every day. Part. Developing a new feature for 50 million users, not millions of users, 50 million. Okay. Our chefs are the best. Wow. Enjoying the rain and rooftop view. Wow. This is so dreamy. Fun day. Time to go home. Let's score some bangers. I like that he's active and playing soccer. Finish the day by helping my followers in coding jobs. I like the day. I like the fact that he's being active and competitive. Like, I feel like you need that when you're sitting at the computer programming all day. But now he's also helping his followers land coding jobs, follow for help. So he's giving back. I appreciate that. You're showing a salary, but you're giving back. But see, this is this is a video where they had the comment and it was like 40K a month is a flat lie <laughs> no software engineer is worth that much that's not true there definitely was a comment in here where i'm pretty sure where he broke down how he made that much money but it wasn't the 40k a month was like investments um real estate like it was a number of things it wasn't just his salary and that's why i'm like it's getting braggadocious you're just trying to make you're just trying to get a lot of views and clicks and you did but like at what cost asking software engineers how they made two hundred thousand dollars after college so i was studying computer science at mit it's always here we go something realistic i made 200k at 22 years old which is an absurd amount of money to make at that age or really any age but i also got a computer science degree at mit i didn't just get this job from a referral and they they handed me two hundred thousand dollars a year my dream to live and work in new york city kind of hate the tech monoculture in SF. Too. i got a referral through a friend but i would recommend finding one through linkedin find someone that works at the company you're applying for a great way to start a conversation is if you have mutual connections so i know this works because i've personally referred people that have reached out to me on linkedin did a lot of leak code questions every day for about a month but if you have yes. more oh my gosh yes thank you thank you thank you ray underscore foo I think that's how you pronounce his name for this very, very realistic video. She did lead code problems for a month. And I'm going to be honest with you. A month is actually not that long of a time. That's not that long. She's really smart. So to do lead code, a couple questions uh, a day, which is hours of work for a month and land a, a software engineering job for 200 K. I mean, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Time, that's even better. I also that's prepped why for them by time. failing other interviews. I did a lot of interviews before I interviewed at two. Yes, also failing tons and tons of interviews. Guys, I failed so many interviews. I just don't talk about it. Well, I did a lot of them. Whenever I failed, I would write down the question and I will go back and solve it again on my own time. Yes, I got an offer key. at Two Sigma. Asking software engineers how- That's key. Try to remember the problems they ask. Try to actually solve them if you didn't get a chance to solve them and then also try to resolve them in a more like efficient way like maybe you can do it in a much better time complexity i love videos like this because they're realistic they aren't these glamorizing videos where it just seems like it's so easy to get in tech and people are just going to hand you money no that is not how it works also it's really freaking competitive they don't just hand out two hundred thousand dollars to 20 year olds all right so that wraps up this TikTok reaction to tech TikTok videos be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll make more content like this and i'll make a series out of this if you all want me to because i spend endless hours of my life just withering away on the TikTok algorithm i just wanted to make the point that you have to hustle and work very hard to get into tech especially to land these jobs that are paying you well over six figures there's just too many videos glamorizing working in tech and how easy it is but anyways that wraps up this video thank you all for watching it don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and as always i'll see you all soon peace